welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Today we are going to start preparing our room and different things for our baby girl. I will be 33 weeks tomorrow so when this video goes up I'll officially be 33 weeks and I'm starting to get the urge to just start preparing things, getting everything washed up and ready. Last night I had Taylor bring up the car seat that we purchased and I just made sure that was all clean. We also pulled out our bassinet that we used with Breelin and I got that cleaned. I washed the dock -a and I'm starting to just get everything organized and make a list of things that I still need to do. So my due date is at the end of May so I still have a little bit of time but I'm trying to while I have the energy get all of these things done. I feel really good right now. I was having tons of like pelvic floor pain but that's kind of went away so I'm feeling great. Last night I actually got a really good night of sleep. Here lately I've been waking up and I'll be up for like one to two hours. I think it's just the pregnancy insomnia or just like a lot of things on my mind just kind of anticipating labor coming up. So I have more energy than I feel like I typically do and I feel like today is a good day. It's raining outside. It's not super warm out and Breland's down for a nap. So let's get some nesting things done together. I know this is a little out of norm for my normal content. Typically I will do decorating or homemaking but this is a part of homemaking. So let's spend the next few hours together preparing. I also would like to make some energy balls. Next week a friend is coming over and we're going to make some freezer meals so I thought I would experiment with some different recipes this week and see if we like the food and if we do then I'll make a big batch of them next week and freeze stuff. I also did go to Trader Joe's and picked up a few different freezer meals so I do have some options. We'll have family and friends bring some food after we have the baby as well. So anyways, just trying to get a little more prepared. The funnest part going through all of the clothes and blankets and just imagining what she will look like. I remember being pregnant with Brooks seven years ago almost. His birthday is the end of April. Um, so he's almost seven. And I just remember feeling so anxious at the very end of pregnancy, not knowing when I was gonna go into labor, all the things. And I do feel like this time I'm just a lot more busy having two kiddos. Breland's only a year and a half old, so we're very busy with her. She's entering like such a fun little stage right now. And I don't have a whole lot of time to just sit and think about like when is it gonna happen. I'm just trying to take it day by day and be as prepared as I can and it'll happen when it happens. Um, I'm still a good ways off, but you know, it's kind of always lingering in the back of your mind. But I'm just thankful for a healthy pregnancy so far and um, yeah, just preparing our hearts and minds for the end of this pregnancy. I cannot believe that I'm eight months pregnant. That is just crazy. <laughs> so let me show you what we've done to our bedroom so far to prepare for the baby. If you did miss my room makeover, I shared how we did our board and batten around the room. I also painted this dresser so we would have somewhere to put all of our baby clothes and blankets and things like that. That was a really fun video to do and now it's time to actually prepare her things, which is so wild. My mom got us this cute little changing mat basket from Amazon. And I just have this little muslin cover on it. I do need to wash all of this. So we'll pull everything out. I also have this little blanket and this rattle I put in her Easter basket. I know she's not born yet, but I did make a little Easter basket for her with like her coming home outfit and stuff. I'll link my baby favorite things on my Amazon storefront down below in the description. We also have a wipe warmer. This was from Breland last time. I actually need to turn it off because I think I plugged it in and I think it's warm. I don't have wipes in it or anything, but I'll only use that for probably the first month or so. I like to use it whenever they're real little and then I just switch over to regular packs of wipes. And then I did go ahead and start putting clothes into these drawers. It's They're not organized or anything, but I wanted to make sure um, they would fit and I had enough. So I'm going to just pull all of the little clothes out 
and get them washed up. Some of my favorite brands or like places I've gotten sleepers from are the Modern Moments brand from Walmart. I do have a few of these and they're really, really soft. I also love Kate Quinn. Um, I had a few pieces for Breland and I caught these when they were on like a mega sale. They were on sale and then you got like an additional 30% off of the sale price. So these are bamboo footed sleepers and some of them I got for like $6. So such a great deal. Usually they're like 30 bucks each. Um, more Kate Quinn. I tried to stick with neutrals, but th this one was so pretty thought for a summer baby. Breland had the little Carter's little sister onesie and I thought it would be sweet to have one for Braley as well. I think I got that one from Walmart and then this one was from Target. They're starting to sell some of these like bamboo feeling um, sleepers and stuff so I was excited about that. Just little flowers on it. Here's another one from Modern Moments from Walmart, but that one doesn't have feet in it, which I kind of like since she will be born in the summer. And then I thought this one was really pretty. This one is by Carter's, but it's their Little Planet line. This is one of my favorites. It's super soft. I love the print. So cute. And then I did pick these up from Target as well. So most of the stuff is just like Walmart, Target, Carter's and then a few different like specialty boutique type websites as well. This is that bamboo, really soft material. I feel like this material too grows better with the baby. Like they can wear these for a long time. Breland is still, she's a year and a half and she can wear some of her six to nine month um, sleepers in this brand just because they're so stretchy. So these are, I think all newborn or zero to three and these don't have the feet in them as well, so will probably be good for summertime. But then whenever they're really newborns, I love getting the sleepers here that are the knotted gowns. I think these are so precious. So um, this one is from Lulu, and it's in the size newborn, and I just think it is so sweet. I love the little floral print, the rust colors, and blush pink. I just love that so much. And I do have a matching headband to go with it. So that might be her like announcement picture outfit <laughs> at the hospital. Um, I also love Knot Baby and I ordered this knotted gown from them. I love this one too though. So I don't know which one I'll end up using. It's kind of like a taupe color with these like light florals and it has a little knotted um, gown at the bottom. This is another Lulu one. I got this one on sale. They had like a spring warehouse sale and I got this one for a good deal. My mom got her some little bows from Amazon that are in like the elastic headband. I like those. And then here are some more Kate Quinn little sleepers, but these are in bigger sizes, all of these are. So went ahead and stuck those in there, but I do wanna wash them up. Some of those were Breland's. I did keep all of these little milestone cards to take her pictures every month. And I have this one to take to the hospital with us. And I'm gonna put her little footprints on the back and also take her baby book and we'll Put those in there as well. The next drawer I have swaddle blankets, towels, some sleepers, and regular blankets. And I need to just pull all of these out. This one is from that Lulu shop as well. It matches that headband. It is so soft. I also have a bath towel. This is from Amazon. It's the brand Mushy. They have a lot of really nice baby things. I also have this sleep sack where she'll have like her arms up. I never used this kind with Breland, but this is really thin. And I figured once she's outgrown like the swaddle stage, I can try this one out with her. And then I always shop at TJ Maxx and look for good deals. So my uh, mom and grandma picked up some little swaddle blankets. These are, um, they feel like bamboo. They were only $10 for two of them. One's just like pink polka dot and the other one is floral. So 
Love those. Those are like a smaller size too, which will be good for when she's real little. And then I saved some from Breelin. So we've got just like this little soft pink ribbed swaddle blanket as well. And then I have some like really large uh, muslin blankets, which I think are nice too. These are good for so many different things. I love this kind of rust color. And then I also have this really large blanket. This one could honestly work for Breland, but I just love this print. It is so beautiful. Just like taupe little flowers. I think this is so pretty. So love that. And then the rest are just like muslin um, blankets, a few more like swaddles. This one is a little unicorn. And then I love this one. It's just a really nice taupe color and it's pretty big and it's really stretchy. So this one was on Amazon and it was really affordable. And in this other drawer, I have all of her little outfits. Um, I just got a few more from H&M yesterday. Most of her outfits are zero to three, but I wanted to get some newborn size. I thought this one was so, so sweet. It has some little buttons on the back. Just a little romper and then this one as well and I got Breelin a little dress that will kind of match but it has these little flower embroidered details so beautiful this one was from Amazon and I thought it was really sweet too but then you can find some really nice ones like this was from TJ Maxx it came with a headband and it was only ten dollars and then I also will look at like Target for little ones like this that are just so sweet and will be really lightweight for summertime. I have some diapers in this top drawer and I've got her little hairbrush with her name on it. I put this in her Easter basket too. I have Passies, Gripe Water, Diaper Rash Cream, just some of the essentials. I do need to sterilize all of these pacifiers. I love the Millie Moon diapers from Target. They are so soft. These are the ones that I use for Breland and I really like them. I also have just regular onesies. I figured that's what she'll be wearing most of the time. And I did pick up like this Lulu romper. I thought that was really sweet. I like the buttons at the top. It's so soft. The little cuffed <laughs> sleeve is so cute. Then I have some just from TJ Maxx that are just like ribbed and more simple. So just got a good little variety. I did pull some socks from Breland and I have these little booties that I thought would be cute when she's a newborn too. In the bottom, I just have more diapers and wipes in this drawer, holds a ton. And then in the other drawer, I have a bassinet or like changing mat sheet. There's an extra one. Um, we have some bibs. Um, some of these were gifts and then some were just ones I had from Breland. So I need to wash all of them up. A few more bath towels. These are the Burt's Bees, 100% organic cotton. And these were only $7.99. So great deal on those. And then I did pick up this like big pack of burp cloths. I thought these would be nice to have. They're a good size. You can use these for all sorts of things. And they're so soft. Even before I washed them, I think they were like under $20. And then I have some changing pad liners to go on the changing pad. That way it kind of protects the cover on there. You just lay these over your changing pad and they're waterproof. So if they pee through or anything, it'll keep them protected. Those are really nice to have. And then I have some receiving blankets that I use as burp cloths. We also got this really nice chair in. I ordered this from Walmart and I love it. It's very comfy. It's a glider rocker and it reclines. So I've been loving it even like towards the end of pregnancy, whenever I'm just cannot get comfortable or I just want to like read a book in the morning. I do like that it has two USB ports. So it's plugged into the wall and you can charge things, which will be nice because I'm doing a hands-free pump this time and I'll be able to charge it just right there. And then I have this caddy that I'm going to put some like breastfeeding essentials. I think I've already shown that, but I just have like the basic stuff. I'll probably share that in a video to come once I get everything finalized for that. 
but let's go ahead and pull all of this stuff out. I feel like it's going to be at least a few loads of laundry because the blankets are kind of bigger and we'll get everything washed up. I am just going to use like plain unscented detergent. That's what I use for all of us anyways, but I'll do all of hers together, get it all washed up. And then I will put everything back into the drawers all nice and neat and get everything ready for her. waiting for the clothes to get done I decided to make some of those protein balls so this is a recipe that I followed this time but honestly it changes every time I make them but these turned out pretty good so I started out with two cups of rolled oats um, and I also added in about a half a cup of chia seeds you could also use flax seed but I didn't have any on hand I used a fourth a cup of our favorite protein powder again you could change up whatever flavor you wanted I did one cup of peanut butter half a cup of maple syrup and this will help bind everything together you could also use honey though if you wanted to do that and then I did about a half a cup of chocolate chips. I used mini semi-sweet and then I did a teaspoon of vanilla and mixed all of that together really well. And I did have to add a little bit more oats just to make sure it wasn't too sticky. And then I just rolled them in a ball. This part was pretty messy, but we're going to put them into the refrigerator and they will seal up nicely and they won't be as messy once they're cold. If you get them too dry, I found that the refrigerator just drives them out even more. So I leave them in the fridge, but they usually don't last too long in our house. guys today is the new diaper bag that I got for Braylee and Breland. This one is from Nina Bay. Absolutely stunning. It came in this really nice large dust bag. I'll link this exact style and color down below in the description. Um, you can also sign up to get 10% off on their website if you sign up with their emails. But it has these large straps on the back. It has a little spot back here that you can store things in. It has the two sides for drinks, a nice large pocket in the front. Everything closes by magnets, which is really nice. And it does have this really nice big opening as well. Love the gold hardware and inside it has pockets all the way around. Tons of storage. There's lots of zippers. 
it comes with an extra strap and then i also did get some stroller straps as well and a little changing pad this is like a neoprene one and it has a little magnet closure i like how sleek it is sometimes these can get really bulky when they don't really have to be i was inside i cannot wait to get everything ready in here i'll do a what i pack in my diaper bag and hospital bag video but i wanted to share that because that just came in but that's about it next week i'll be sure to film what kind of meals i make to put in the freezer that way we'll have them postpartum and i do have an entire pregnancy playlist that i will link down below as well in case you would like to check it out but thanks for spending some time with me today doing some nesting i feel like it was a very slow day and it takes a while for things to like wash and dry and put away it probably looks like it was really fast but i feel like it's taken all day i have some more organizing i want to do i have to sterilize like all of the bottles and pacifiers and that sort of thing and i want to make like a really functional either drawer or cabinet situation for all of that and have a good game plan so things can run really smoothly once we get back home with her after she makes her arrival. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.